Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to migrate from Shopify to WooCommerce. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to migrate your Shopify customers to WooCommerce and then how to uh, migrate your Shopify orders to WooCommerce. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first step is the first step is to go to your Shopify site and export your customers. So to do that, go to your homepage on your Shopify site, then go down to customers, and then click export. And then you wanna click all customers, and then click CSV, and click export customers, right here. So after you do that, you're gonna get something down here like a CSV file download, you want to go to um, your WooCommerce site, and this is where you're going to import the customers. And you first need to download the plugin. To do this, go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, then go to Upload Plugin, choose the, the zip file right here, and install it. Then you want to activate it. Awesome. So then from here, you want to go to WooCommerce right here, and then go to the CSV order import suite. Click this. And then you want to click import customers. You want to click on CSV. Then you want to choose the file that you just exported from Shopify. So it's right here. You upload that. And you click next. Then on this page, this is like the import customers options. So um, you can't migrate passwords from Shopify to WooCommerce, but um, I might click like you know, billing address if the shipping address is not set. And I might click like merge or update the customer if it's a uh, if it's already existing, especially like the email. And then click click next, and then you can map the field. So um, when you're mapping the fields, you want to make sure you do the billing instead of the shipping, especially for WooCommerce, as they take priority over billing um, information over over shipping. So this would be company name. City, the state, this could be the zip code or postcode, this could be the country, this could be phone number, and then from there you want to, I actually do a dry run first just to make sure everything's working properly. So it's merged. Um, I already had that email imported before, so merge just means that um, the customer already existed. Um, so basically, if it's merged or inserted, you did it correctly. So then from here, um, you want to click on Run a Live Import Now. So it's um, going to actually import the customer 100% um, into WooCommerce. And awesome, import's complete. 100%. Tells you how many cu customers were processed. So then from here, you want to go back to your Shopify site, and now you need to export your orders. To do this, um, click on orders here um, from your Shopify dashboard, and then click on export. And then you want to click on all orders, and then the CSV file. And then click on export orders. So then from here, depending on how many orders you have in your system, if it's under 50, um, you're gonna be able to download it right, right from this page, but if it's over 50, they're gonna email it to the, to the store owner. So if you're not the store owner, make sure they can send you or forward you the CSV file. So then from here, you wanna upload your order uh, CSV file into like Google Sheets, and you have to do a bunch of things to reconfigure 
um, CSV file so it's importable um, into WooCommerce because the fields on Shopify are um, fundamentally different from the fields in WooCommerce. You have to change really what, what this is on the, uh, on the Google Sheets. You're changing a lot of how the, the fields are named. So the first thing you want to do is you want to highlight column A, which is the name, and that's this number. And you want to, we need to delete this number symbol from all these different orders. So you want to go to edit from the top menu, find and replace. You want to click on this sign. You don't want to do anything with replace with. Just leave that blank, don't even touch it. And then click replace all. And then you notice that there's no more number symbol in there. And then you wanna click done. And then the next step you wanna do is you need to rename a bunch of columns. So um, I had this on, on my blog tutorial. Basically you need to rename like six different columns. Um, so the first one you need to rename is, um, let's go back here, it's name. So you can rename this to from name to order ID. And it's really important that you rename these, these columns because if you don't, then you won't be able to import correctly. And this is probably the number one mistake people make is they think um, they can just name rename five out of the six columns um, or um, have an extra space in one of the columns. It's like, nope, you need to rename them 100% correctly or else you're not gonna be able to import um, this file into WooCommerce correctly. So it's really important that you understand that. So that's one down. We go down to line item quantity, which is right here. And we need to rename this to, let's see, let's see, rename this to do what item quantity. And then line item name, rename this to item name. Line item price, rename this to item Line item skew, where is that? Rename this to item skew. And then the tax one value, where is that? Tax one value, I want to rename this to item tax. And then last but not least, you need to insert a new column on the way end. I usually do it on the way end, but it can be anywhere in your CSV file. And you need to rename this item made up. And you don't need to click uh, provide anything here. You can just leave it blank. Awesome. So then from here, there's one last really important step is um, and it deals with these four columns. So basically um, for each order Shopify, um, for each order a customer has Shopify um, tracks if it was paid or not and then if it was fulfilled or not. WooCommerce is fundamentally different where they only track if the order was completed or not, which means that if it was completed, then it was paid, paid and fulfilled. So make sure um, when you're going through these different um, fields, like financial status, I wouldn't recommend importing non-paid orders and I wouldn't recommend importing non-fulfilled orders. In my blog tutorial, I have examples of how you can import this without um, without an order being paid or without an order being fulfilled, so it maps correctly to the WooCommerce fields. But trust me when I say this, unless you really, really need it, or unless you're super, super advanced e-commerce site that's doing you know B2B, um, has a bunch of B2B customers or something like that, or is doing you know net terms, uh, net payment terms or something like that, I don't re recommend this, so again, Answer this is enough. I only recommend uh, you know importing completed orders from Shopify to WooCommerce. Okay, so from here, um, after you have just paid and fulfilled orders that you're gonna import, you want to delete these two columns, and then you want to change this to status. You need to change this to from like paid, like this, paid, paid, and you want to do find and replace. Actually, we're going to delete this column too. And then 
And from here, you want to do paid, find, replace, and and change if completed. So then, if I had more, if I had a bunch of orders right here, right, this would all be completed. Awesome. So then, from here, you're ready to import this file into um, WooCommerce. So you want to go to File, Download, and then Download as a CSV file. Awesome. So then you want to go back to your WooCommerce site, and you want to click on the Lake Domain dashboard. And you want to click on WooCommerce, and then CSV Order Input Suite. So the same plugin that you use to import your customers, you need to use to import your orders. Just click on that, and then go to 